Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about re-enabling the Group Policy Editor in Windows 10 Home Edition. So, while I have mentioned this in other tutorials plenty of times before how Windows 10 Home Edition does not include the Group Policy Editor, it's very frustrating, I must say. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to re-enable it. So, one reason I've kind of held off on making this tutorial in the past is that it's, it's a little bit more complicated than I probably would like to get into with some of these videos. But fortunately, um, there's a website that I do frequent very often for very convenient downloads and whatnot, and it's called MajorGeeks.com. And they actually do have a batch file that they assembled and that it's free to download and everything. So we're going to actually use their tool in the process of getting our group policy editor back. So I'm going to have a link to their page in the description of my video, guys, and I want you guys to paste it into the top address bar here. This basically is going to do the work that we would manually have to do. So just go ahead and paste this in here. It's going to begin the download process. So we're going to be adding the group policy editor to our additional Windows 10. And there's going to be a download button on this page. Go ahead and just select that. So you're welcome to run a virus total scan or if you, if you choose to do so on any of these files, but I really wouldn't be too worried about it. So anyway, we have this batch file. We're going to go ahead and just drag it over our desktop, close out of here. And now you want to right click on this batch file. And it's very important that you run it as an administrator. So go ahead and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Give it a moment here. Should say the operation completed successfully. Easy as that. That's what I love about these guys. So very simple process here. You can see it's just running right through it. You didn't have to do anything other than just downloading it from their site and then running the file. So it's just press any key to continue, which we will. Closes out of there. You should restart your computer for it to take effect, and that should be about it. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.